Hi all, this is Kamal Das, representing Coreplus, the team of full stack developers and security analysts. Welcome back to this hackathon series. Hope you are all doing good. So let us continue from where we left over. Let me just summarize on what we discussed in the previous video. So we discussed on the importance of team formation and problem statement selection. How much crucial a team formation is, how much crucial a problem statement selection is. So what's next? Next comes the execution of the solution. So you have selected a problem statement for giving a proper solution to it, right? A feasible, a impactful, a next level, a innovative, something, some kind of a solution that can create a revolution. That is what a hackathon is. Let me just take an example. Let me not directly rush into the uh, uh, content so that it may get boring to you. So let us assume that you have selected a problem statement. And that problem statement is something relating to a college management system. And you have selected a problem statement, you have a team for building it, and you directly start working on the project. Just you know that you are going to build a college management system, you have read the problem statement, and you are going to provide a solution. So you have worked on it, you have worked on it day and night, you have provided a solution, you have provided a, a decent uh, college management system, you have submitted the proposal for the finals, but you have not been shortlisted. Can you think what exactly would be the reason that you are not getting shortlisted? So most of the Smart India hackathons or most of the internal hackathons or stuffs all over, what mistake everyone do? What mistake we also did initially, not with respect to Smart India Hackathon 2022, the previous hackathon experiences I'm seeing. So we just rush up into the solution without knowing exactly what we are going to do. We just have an outline. Yes, there's a problem. We are going to give an outline of a solution. That's it. That's what we plan. So I will guide you through on what exactly we should do for constructing and paving a way for a perfect solution. So let me just uh, go it point wise. First, assign each role to a team member. So each team member you would have shortlisted on a basis that they would know full stack development. They would be a front end developer. They may be a back end developer. They may be a marketing specialist. They may be a UI UX designer. They may be anyone, but assign a role based on the problem statement. And next, create a timeline. Because you are building a project, you must have a fixed timeline. You must have a fixed milestone for a project. So it's not that you are directly going to rush up into a project. Break down into small milestones. Milestone is like a brick. So constructing with the help of bricks is what you are going to do, right? It's not that you are going to dump all the bricks at the time and you are going to get a building. Slow and steady, right? That is how the process works. And now I have talked about milestones, I have talked about timelines. How can you work on a timeline or a milestone without knowing what you're going to do? Right? That would be a question in your minds. What you're going to do now is brainstorm the ideas together. Like what are the possible solutions? What are the possible unique solutions that you can provide? For that, what you need to do? Market research. To know what are all the existing products in the market. You need to know the competitive analysis of analyzing, okay, these are all the uh, positives in the existing systems and these are all certain things which are not present in the existing systems. And that's where you can provide a list of what are all the existing things, what are all the pros and cons of all the existing products in the market. This is what we did actually. So going forward after selecting a problem statement, we a team of six, we split up and we started searching for existing products. So as I said earlier, our product was an OTP alternative. So we devised a system which is basically a QR based authentication. So by hearing itself, you would have known that there are already so many QR based authentication systems outside that. What we thought is, why can't we do something unique? And just like that, with the help of QR, we are going to use QR, but what unique we can do, only we can understand that after knowing what are all the weaknesses are in the existing products. So each one of us started, uh, select, we selected random products and started analyzing what are the pros and cons. What are the pain points in each of the products? What does a pain point mean? A pain point means that something that is not uh, perfect in that product, something that is a backlog in that product, 
which we can use as a strength that is called innovation like in an existing product you are enhancing a feature and you are launching it as your product that is called innovation and it has a market value so people uh, have a misconception about innovation and invention invention is something that you are going to do everything from scratch there is nothing like that but there are a lot of innovations that are coming up so you have decided now right you have all brainstormed everything you know what you are going to do so uh, as you know what you are going to do you can plan the milestones right and for executing it you need to know the technology stack you need to fix what stack it is in if you are going to do a web application you need to fix what you are going to do a main stack or main stack or whatever that is how you need to have everything pre processed and now the plans and strategies are ready so rather than taking some uh, random examples i thought why don't we check out with a uh, real problem statement from the smart india hackathon 2023 portal yeah let's go so i'll just open the problem statement selection from the smart india hackathon 2023 portal and uh, let me just select the software and uh, let me just select some random problem statement okay blockchain this seems good okay developing a blockchain based e vault for legal records okay uh typically they are asking a system like a, a digi locker for all the legal level records for ensuring high level security that's what they are asking for blockchain based uh, technology if i'm not wrong so when you see that uh, all the details that has been given it does seem so it should be user friendly and it should be secure blockchain based it should ensure privacy so they've given a lot of details in this uh, problem statement last time when we selected it was just two lines stating that uh, you, you need to create an alternative for otp in low network zones that was only the problem statement uh, which was given this seems good so let me just take this uh, problem statement now so let us assume that you have selected uh, this problem statement what are the things that you will be working on like are you going to just think that okay uh, e vault it's easy i'm going to just build that's it this is the technical stack i am telling my team to do this uh, each one you are going to assign one a ui thing one for the back end one for the api that's it is that how it works no that is how so let me just guide through the step by step process what you can do through the uh, for this uh, problem statement blockchain based e vault system so first thing brainstorm the ideas So for brainstorming the ideas we need to know what are all the existing systems that are around all over the world not only in India so just search around all six of you search around different uh, existing products like you can even search the digi locker how it works what are the existing systems what are all the pain points what are all the needs what are all the benefits from them start learning each and every points from them that is what will uh, uh make you understand deeper about what exactly it is competitive analysis is so crucial in this point because you are doing something that is uh for the government of india for the law and defense so just ex- just think about the level of security that will be needed on that so you must focus on that also and uh, what are the technology stack that you are going to use for fulfilling this and you can take a time for a f- uh, maybe a weeks time for analyzing in detail as i said brainstorm ideas together have a proper market research have a good competitive research and understand the technology stack and always remember that never limit your solution just for the hackathon so when you do like that it becomes a short term goal right so when you create it as a long term goal you just imagine that you are going to build a product that you can uh, trade anywhere you can market anywhere then it becomes a long term goal itself and the focus the works on it that itself gives a huge moral confidence and boosts the level of work and as i said earlier team coordination is very important each of you must have a same vision for working throughout and once you have done all this create a proper project timeline like just that is given here first you are going to create on the requirement gathering so what are all the functionalities that you are given create a small timeline for that next ui ux design who is going to design that plan that next the level of 
first level draft of the development who is going to do that plan it as a team plan it as different modules and some person who is going to integrate that plan it step by step don't rush it up when you plan it step by step you can keep a track of what you are doing right and as earlier in the market research and stuff keep it as a data because it is going to help you for creating a winning presentation winning powerpoint pitch because most of the hackathons they just uh, ask you for submitting a presentation or just a video small video description for getting shortlisted into the finals and that is how it works so for that the level of understanding which you have is very crucial and uh, that is what i just thought why don't we walk through with an existing problem statement here and uh, as i said earlier when it comes to the judging criteria let me just talk about uh, briefly talk about the judging criteria when it comes to the uh, first level or second level of shortlisting the impact and relevance of the solution which you are providing with respect to the problem statement is very crucial the innovation and creativity as i said earlier why you know what is innovation what is invention make it clear technical implementations how you have implemented it the level so as this is the uh, ministry of law and defense definitely they will see the level of security how you have implemented the blockchain technology how you have added your own innovation into it the scalability of the product how the product is going to scale in the future how you are going to take it to the next level the powerpoint presentation with respect to all the market research a small demo video so maybe we can uh, talk in brief about uh, uh, the problem statement which which you are going to create for getting shortlisted in smart india hackathon we have a process called as uh, internal hackathon normally uh, i think in the upcoming video we'll be talking about creating a winning proposal with respect to the market research with respect to all that you have done okay next video is going to be interesting because i'm going to make you people to do it it's not me so let me just show this is the overview of the uh pitch which got selected for the finals which we had created last year we'll be talking about it in detail in the upcoming video i think this video has gone already a lot long so about the proposal of how you need to structure a project proposal how you can take it to the uh, next level we can uh, talk about it in the next upcoming video so do subscribe whatever queries you have feel free to put it in the comment section we are there to help you out thank you uh, signing off kamalil das Thank you.